Hey there, everyone. This is uh, guy playing a whole new world. And last time I beat the game, uh, but it opened up two things here. Well, uh, in, in addition to story mode plus, which is like in a thing plus plus, just boss rush and challenge. I just kind of want to see like what happens if you select that. So you're just thrown in like immediately. Okay, like no, uh, nothing fancy. You're just there with the power ups you would have at that point in time. Got it. Okay, makes a lot of sense. You know, I figured it'd be, it would make sense to just see what it is. And it is a very, very straightforward approach. And you like, here, darkness! You're at a new place now! Right, didn't get new potions until this person. And then he just made that explode. Like, I'm gonna- Gosh, wow, I'm bad, suddenly. I haven't, like, woken up yet. Not woken up, but, like, warmed up. Now, you know, there's always a- So... That's how you deal with him. You gotta just try to always look at him. So, bosses in this game, really, you kinda always look at the boss. You barely ever look at yourself, because everyone's tell is, like, very visual. And, uh, I'm just gonna let myself get bought by that. That's how- yeah, I hope I don't lose to him. That would be embarrassing. But I'm- it might happen. I just- cause, you know, I- I- I didn't, like, die to him at all, I don't think. But also, you know, I had a full, like, playthrough to warm up, you know, to... Whoa, the act is... He's laughing! Well, he won't laugh now that he exploded, probably. You even get the thing, you just get the new bottle immediately. You do not get healed, though. Which... Immediately makes me want to not do this anymore. <laughs> this boss is kind of cool. I feel like I didn't really say anything about him. He's, a, he's got a goofy design, like this big old like fire head, ice head, like s sharing the same z zone. It's kind of funny. All right, Prius did perfect. Well, good for you, buddy. So that's Boss Rush. Let's check out Challenge, which I looked at very briefly. Okay, so I had a thought in my head of heads that maybe this is how you deal with the Scoot Mom, is that you kick them. I had a theory, and, uh, I'm glad it worked out. So, but it doesn't look like you kill them. Oh, and then you do that to kill them. Okay, yeah, you turn them over. Okay, and you can bounce on them, and you're not gonna get hurt, too, which is interesting. Alright, see, we're learning about ourselves and others. I mean, yeah, this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be a challenge. I don't know if it's gonna be, like, a great challenge. Is it just, like, infinite doorway? Because right now... I want this to attack, yeah, at an angle. Oh, jeez, okay, so don't advance too much. Okay, no, there's an element of design, in theory. Well, let's go down this hole. That's right, remember, that's what this game is about. Okay, so there's, like, a thing happening. Oh, jeez, uh, I am getting super destroyed, though. Okay, this is not the way to go. Okay, so see, I, I, I want to see where this goes. Which doesn't feel the best. Like, otherwise, you just kind of get overwhelmed with, like, all the enemies of the universe. And this good mob is just gonna end up, um, walking off the cliff here anyways. Whoa, angry storm cloud. All right. Whoa. There we go. Like, I wonder, like, did, was the angry storm cloud created, or did it always exist? Yeah, so, whoa, jeez. So you got these guys. I think they kind of do, like, a round, a round Rinko from an eyeball. It's even Rinko shaped, if you really look at it. And I am. What? What's that thing coming from the ceiling? Oh, jeez. Uh... See, so this is a big problem with this mechanic, is that things exist in the screen beyond. You can't see them, though. You don't know where they are, but they'll still hurt you a lot. Have fun, I guess. Yeah, see, no, here my beef is that then here you just have stuff all over the place. And... Uh, it feels very bad. It's very spammy. Like, it's not a great challenge. 
I appreciate having a pose game challenge, but, you know... This really is just kind of spamming. Like, how do you dodge something that you do not know exists? Ugh, things... No... This feels bad. This feels terrible. This is not how I want my last memories of this game to be, but this is what they're going to be. Why are these guys not, like, getting hurt? I don't understand that. It's just, like, it's just a spam fest. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's just bad. It is terrible. I am sad that this is included in this game. Alright, just kill me at this point. Like, it's pointless. It's pointless. You know what? I'm just gonna... Weird. Well, anyway, I don't care. Well, I mean, maybe I... I don't know. Like, I'm trying to kill the normal guys, and they're just not dying, and then you have, like, a thousand sprites that are all up in your face. I don't know what I'm doing. Whatever. Flipping through... ...the thing... ...recharges your double jump. Like, I don't understand how- how do you s stay and fight there? Like, I don't understand how that happens. You- you have no- no ground to stand on. Like, for- <laughs> Yeah, have fun tracking things that you can't perceive. That's my favorite part. Like, look at that! See, the- the Rinka shooter from the lower screen is still shooting at me. From this screen. Like, I hate the- I am not enjoying this at all. Like, it feels like I'm supposed to be doing something. But I don't know what that thing is. Like, I... Like, it feels like a... Yeah, like, I feel like there's something you're supposed to do to get past here, but I have no idea what... I have no concept for what what it could be. I'm guessing the menu that appears is, uh... the stuff? Like, is the completion mode menu? Also, it's worth saying that I was told that there is a secret boss if you manage to beat the whole game without continuing. I am not attempting that. I'm- I- I am not. Like, that is beyond my skill range. Like, I- I just know that. And that's okay. Like, I feel like you have to take the time to kill the little guys. But if you do, you just get overwhelmed by everything around you, and it feels bad. It feels terrible. I hate how you get hit blindly. Like, that is terrible. Like, this is the, the game you're making. You, you, you can put some kind- you can program some kind of measure to warn the player about stuff being somewhere. That should be kind of part and parcel with your engine, right? Equilibrium. I enemies stick around while I move between realities. So in the spirit of fairness, shouldn't that be true with my magic? It doesn't look to be the case. Alright, I'm just gonna die here. Blind and uncooked. As you do. Okay, you know what? No, I'm- this is- this is every bad part. 10%? No, yeah, no. Like, this is every bad part of this game just magnified. Why would you do that? Let's check what this means. So I go here. Is it gonna be. So. 
That did not do what I thought. But there it makes it really clear down there, though. That's what kind of like I wanted to see. So, okay, let's go to title. Let's start a new game. I can do story plus. We just start right in. And here we can see it. There's three items to be found, 11 gems. So you could root around the levels like that. That's what I kind of wanted to see. So if you wanted to be a completionist, you play with that menu and you can see what you got. So when you get to a midpoint, I guess you get near the boss room, you double back and you look around. See, the issue is I don't trust the game enough to say that, you know, the stuff that I miss is just go left at a place instead of going right. And some of the levels do get pretty mazy at some point. I understand what you're going for. I just feel like... I feel like with my initial playthrough, I've had what I wanted. Uh... In the comments, I wish I remembered who said that, but it compared this game to an NES game. Not, uh, you know, a retro game that's trying to be a... to invoke the NES. No. This is outright down... This is an NES game. For good and for ill. If you, like, analyze this game under that lens, like, it makes just too much sense. It's a game I would have rented an afternoon, and I played it for that day. You know, we play rented for like uh, 24 hours. I would play it during that period, and then I would return it back, and I would be happy. And that's the vibe I get. There's a handful of people who would, who are interested in seeing a full completion, but a significant p amount of people who have spoken up are pretty content with the initial run through the game, and, um... That's my vibe right now. Maybe this is impacted by having a bad time in 10% of Challenge Room, but I mean, hey, it's part of the game. I gave it a shot. And, uh, yeah, I wish I hadn't. Because, wow, my last impressions of this game are gonna be not ideal anymore. I feel kind of bad about that, but here we are. I'm sure it might be a full run of the challenge mode on YouTube or something. It's just, like I said, the first part is very slow. You know, you have to take it slow. It's kind of boring. And then it's like hyper spam nonsense butt zone and I don't know what to really do to approach it. Like, you know, I, I appreciate having a challenge for people to beat the game, but it needs to be good, you know? It's not enough to be hard.